I'm Elsa Munoz, and my mentorship partner is Juan Molina Hernandez. Uh, so I'll start by restating uh, Juan's general question and direction for, for this mentorship. Uh, so Juan is interested in the economic aspect of having an art career because Juan perceives me as being a, a full-time artist. <laughs> um, and that's true, but it's, it's recent. Um, and yeah, any resources to manage that have helped you manage the financial aspect of, of your art career. So um, I'm going to start off by saying that um, the probably the most important tool that I've come across is this uh, artist inventory system called Artwork Archive. So it's artworkarchive.com. And basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's it's an archival system where you are able to upload all of your work and it you know it's 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 all in so your the media the year uh what it costs and then it, what's great is that there's also a section about uh where the work has been shown and if it sells like where the address of the person that has it so it has um you know like your all-in-one like provenance uh, ready to go when you are at that level and also included in in this service is an invoicing system so that's super convenient like if when something sells or you're loaning a, a work of art to a space you can send out uh, this quick professional document right from artwork archive and then um, there's also a section that helps you um, input all of your expenses and all of your profits for, for the, the year. So it organizes like, also I highly encourage uh, artists to have accountants. Uh, I think it gets messy to try to do it all ourselves and it's, uh, in the end, it's easier to, to just have help. Uh, to, it's worth the investment. So uh, I'll say that um, that is a very helpful resource to have all my, you know, my entire history for, for the year uh, of profits and expenses right on Artwork Archive. So it's all organized, it's all very legible that I can present to my accountant at the end of the year. So let's see. And then another, uh, another tool that has, to me, been beneficial, uh, financially beneficial in, in my career uh, is something called a, a digital media kit. So maybe uh, Juan wasn't directly asking about like how, how to bring about more financial resources. Maybe, you know, it was just about organization and such. But I wanted to share this. So a, a digital media kit is different than, say, like just sending a, a gallerist or a, you know, a, a curator your, your portfolio. It's a little more complete than that. Um, and a, a digital media kit is like your, your, the introduction uh, to your work um, according to even other another curator you know like if you have been fortunate enough and i know that juan has to have his work written about uh so you would include maybe like your favorite quote and have that quote by this curator be uh, on a page with you know a, a piece of artwork and something about having someone in the art business say something kind about your work, it allows other people who are in that same artist, you know, ecosystem to uh, have faith and to, uh, I don't know, to like look at you twice where maybe otherwise they, they wouldn't, right? So uh, it, again, uh, a digital media kit um, also includes, um, so, uh, it asks you to attach like a, a PDF, essentially, of reviews, interviews, like anything that you feel would help um, introduce you to a, a new person in, in your field. 
So um, aside from this video, I'm going to send Juan a, a folder with uh, examples of what a media kit should look like. Um, let's see. I made a list. Yes. And so finally, I felt it was important um, because maybe this is something we don't um, we don't talk about enough. So it took me such a long time to to get organized uh, financially. But to be honest, like this is my first year, like a, a year and a half of feeling like like I need to do better, like I, uh, that there's a lot of room for improvement and growth. And I've realized that through listening to uh, um, this very helpful podcast that I, I wanted to, to mention here called uh, Moneda Moves, hosted by Leanne Alfaro. Uh, so this podcast talks about Latinos and money wounds, right? Like this idea that um, if perhaps you didn't come from money or you have uh, a difficult time feeling that you're that you're worthy of, I don't know, of pricing your work at a certain at a certain level, or like asking for honorariums. Like, there's all these money wounds that people have when uh, historically you or your family didn't feel um, properly appreciated for for your work. And so, listening to resources like Moneda Moves has has helped me on a psychological level, on an emotional level, regarding my financial, you know, career. Um, so I wanna encourage uh, Juan and basically anyone, anyone that feels like that message resonates, right, about, about having money wounds be the barrier to having a, a, a healthier, and more organized relationship with our finances. So I'm going to provide a link to uh, Moneda Moves and there are also, um, I reached out to Leanne personally and she recommended books that I, that I can also look into and read. So I'm going to uh, link those things for Juan. And um, yeah, if there's any, uh, other things that I can think of, I'll include them in some folder. But I think off, you know, like he, anyone would be off to a good start with with these uh, these tips. So artwork archive, um, and then a digital media kit, and uh, finding out about your money wounds. 